What? No time to explain. Run! No, no, no. I'm afraid not. These older models are entirely at the mercy of the breeze, and there is far too much of it, I'm afraid, to be safe. Now, this particular example... What do you think you're doing? Get out of there this instant! Cut the ropes! I'll cover you! Oh, my... <laughs> Trying to hit me. What did you do back there? It's a long story. We're almost at the river. Hurry! Reload! Coming! Next time, I plan the escape route. It's beautiful. From up here, you'd never know the nation is tearing itself apart. Can... Can things ever go back to the way they were before, do you think? Do you? After everything that's happened. Everything we've lost. So that's it, then. The course of history forever altered. Never again to return. Maybe we can't go back. But going forward isn't necessarily an ending. Please, I... You cheated. You took too long. I love you. You looked so peaceful, I didn't want to wake you. Je t'aime, Elise. Someone will come and collect it. Surely. Oh. 
Are you sure about this? Not particularly, no. But the Marquis is on the National Convention for Le Peltier. You might have some insight. Which is a more incisive commentary on corruption in the bishopric? Seven nuns seducing a parish priest into debauchery, or an enormously endowed Benedictine sodomizing a goat named Pius? No force in heaven or on earth will make me answer that question. Quite right, Arno. The goat it is. So, what can I do for you? And your charming companion. Louis Michel Le Pelletier. What can you tell us about him? Ah, dear Louis. He went from abolishing the death penalty to calling for the king's head in two short years. Where can we find him? I'm afraid I don't often socialize with my fellow deputies. Something about my distaste for the beheading of the innocent. Speaking of innocence. To sad. Mm -hmm. Le Peltier. Well, I believe he often takes meals at a certain cafe near the Palais Royal. I believe you can find him there. If we don't, I'll be back. Really? Well, then I hope I'm mistaken. No, you don't. Wine delivery for the palace. Look it round back. Make sure you clean those windows properly this time, or Mr. Le Pelletier will have my yes, head! Bonjour, Citizen Le Pelletier. Citizen Talia. Pardon, mademoiselle. Monsieur Le Pelletier has complained of stuffiness in his office. Could you open the window? What are you on about? Monsieur hates a drafty room. Would this persuade you? Oh, oui, monsieur. Remy, open the window. Monsieur Le Pelletier finds his office a bit stuffy. But, but you said... Just do it! All right. On ne peut plus arpenter les rues sans se faire aborder. Can you not see that this revolution can only lead to freedom? The king must be seen as a criminal and a traitor. Only then, when he's executed like a common villain, 
We show the world Jacques de Molay's great truth. You may show the world what truths you like, Grandmaster. What I do, I do for the good of France. You were right. King Louis's been talking to all sorts he shouldn't have. Citizen Le Belletier, the vote stands at 360 for execution to 360 for clemency. How do you vote? Execution! The vote is cast and counted, Grandmaster. And? The king will die. I had no doubt. I shall very much look forward to witnessing the end of tyranny. I'll see to it you have the finest view. Are you sure Germain will be there? Yes, I'm sure. Then what are we waiting for? Let's split up. We'll cover more ground that way. Monsieur Germain, it's fitting you are here to witness the rebirth of the Templar Order. For all, you were there for its conception. Monsieur de la Serre, ah, tried to make him see. But the Order had become corrupt, touching at power and privilege for their own sake. But you could set it right, is that it? All by killing the man in charge. But de la Serre's death was only the first stage. This is the culmination. Kings, fear is symbol. Symbol can inspire fear. Fear can inspire control. But men inevitably lose their fear of symbols, as you can see. This was the truth de Molay died for. The divine right of kings is nothing but the reflection of sunlight upon gold. And the crown church are ground to dust. When you control the gold, will decide the future. Is it Vangie? I must take my leave. Good day to you. Kill him. Go! Quite an entrance. What are you doing? Go after him! I'm not leaving you here to die. Please, it's time to go. I can do it. Go after them. It's not worth it. 
so careless now knowing how close at heel we are you were given a golden opportunity to end his life and you refuse to take it to save your life it isn't yours to save what are you saying i'm willing to risk everything to put jama down if you don't have the stomach for revenge then i don't need your help elise elise What in God's name happened at the Place de la Révolution today? Germain was there, and I know what his plan is. You have to... You were told to leave that investigation to others. Yes, but listen! Yes, but listen? Is that the regard in which you hold the Brotherhood? I knew this would happen. I told Mirabeau that you were too obsessed with your personal vendettas. This is why I joined the Brotherhood. Yes, not because you shared our ideas or felt called to the service. For revenge. For redemption. Call it what you will. You've defied the orders of this council repeatedly, pursued targets without sanction, and flouted our creed at every step. After Trenet. In light of these actions, I find I have no choice but to call for a vote of expulsion. Master Bellier. Agreed. What are you- Master Kimar. Agreed. Arno Dorian, you are attainted. Your rank and title are stripped from you, and you are hereby exiled from the Brotherhood of Paris. You cannot be serious. Listen, I know what Germain is doing. I can stop him! The decision of this council is final. We give you leave to go. So, was that last night? Get the hell out of here! But I... Ouch! You've caused enough trouble for one night. Fine. 
I'll procure my wine in some other fashion. was last night. Maybe I left it there. Looks like someone got into a fight. Oh, Christ. Not you again. Didn't do enough damage last night. No, I, I just... My father's watch. Have you seen it? I see nothing. Might want to ask one of the four men you picked a fight with. Idiot. You don't want to do that, boy. Piss off, old man. I'll have a word with you. You. Uh, where's your boss? Oh, shit. No. Get back here. <gasps> Where? The palace! The Red Palace! Thank you. Bag it all, boys. Beach road informers for their coppers, eh, lads? Go with you, Father. 
father. Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, father. Bloody hell. Hey, what of ours? Who's coming up? Christ. Shit. Shit. Fuck. My watch. I want it back. Blast it. <laughs> Oh, no. You look like hell. You look like you want something from me. That's a fine thing to say after you up and vanished. You made it fairly clear you no longer required my services. Don't. Don't you dare talk to me like that. What do you expect me to say, Elise? Forgive me? for not letting you die. I'm sorry that I care more about you than about killing Germain. I thought we wanted the same thing. What I wanted was you. I can't bear the fact that my carelessness got your father killed. Everything I've done since then has been to fix that mistake and to prevent it from happening again. You must have come here with something in mind. What was it? Paris is tearing itself apart. Jama has driven the revolution to new heights of depravity. The guillotines operate nearly around the clock now. And what do you expect me to do about it? The Arno I love wouldn't have to ask that question. You're better than this. I'm going back to Paris. Are you coming? There's one last thing I need to do. All right. I'll go see to our transportation. Stay out of trouble. Don't get caught. gotten us into now. Shut up in there! So, this is what France has come to. Parasites bleed the revolution dry. Ha! 
Monsieur Latouche, your last report contained numerous errors. Sir, I, I triple-checked those figures. They're not in error. 10,000 livres simply vanished from His Majesty's treasury. I'm sorry, Latouche. Good day. Monsieur Latouche, they tell me you are a tax man. Yes, sir. Good. I have need of someone like you. His parasite is plain and simple. What's that mean? It means greedy bastards skimming for themselves instead of doing their jobs. If you knew half the shit our boss is right here. Tell me about this boss of yours. Very well. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May the Father, Father of Understanding guide us. Um, what would you have me do, Grand Master? I'm placing your services at the disposal of our agent on the convention. The Peltier? Our Peltier has his uses, but he's not our only friend in government. Monsieur Latouche, I present to you Monsieur Maximilien de Robespierre. Monsieur, I understand Versailles is overrun with parasites. Okay, we're close, Initiate. Arnaud and Germain had some kind of confrontation within the next few months, but we don't know where or how it ended. We're counting on you to find out. Got it. The portal's open. If all goes well, this is your last force migration. Yeah, and if it doesn't go so well, you could go into hippocampal shock and take your meals through an IV for the rest of your life. Let's not dwell on that, shall we? might look familiar to you. We're back in medieval Paris, late 14th century. You're outside the city walls now. I suggest you find your way back.
there. Things have changed a great deal since you left Paris. A great deal to be set right. And we're no closer to finding Germain. That's not entirely true. I have a name. Who? Robespierre. 